Hi guys, we recently redesigned our show graphics for our YouTube videos, so I thought I'd show you how we did it. In fact, here's one of the graphics now. So we started off by brainstorming about what we wanted them to look like and what we needed. We needed an intro for the start of the video, we needed an outro with our website details, and we needed a lower third and a watermark from the top of the video so that no one can steal our footage. So we started off by doing some research. We went to sites like videohive.net where they do templates for uh, logo reveals and titles and graphics, but it's good to go there and get some inspiration. Um, we knew we wanted to use the circle from the logo because we love that circle. Um, and we knew we wanted to use red, so we kept an eye out for anything interesting with circles. Um, and we came across some good stuff that we took inspiration from. So once we'd done that, we started with some sketches uh, I came up with a few ideas, some of them worked, some of them didn't. I had an idea that I quite liked where the red dot came out and then the lines wiped across it and revealed the next video, but the problem with that was we'd have to do it for each video, so we'd have to do the layer mask and it's just too much work, we needed somewhere we can just drop on top and use for the same video. Um, so we came up with this idea of just having the logo reveal um, again, we talked about having the title on the video, but if we're going to be mentioning it at the start of the video and it's going to be on YouTube, we don't really need the title, so we just put the logo in there. We found this transition with the circles coming across, and we did that, revealed the TV on the side, and I think it looks pretty cool. We've got the different shades of red, it's, it's vibrant, very red, so it's definitely our branding. And then once we got the title, we used that for the outro, we used the same transition, and then the lower third, we, again, we went back to the drawing board and we tried to come up with all these fancy ideas, but in the end we just said, let's keep it simple, grey bar, with using the brand colours. And then we'd seen on a video on YouTube um, a few times that people put in Twitter handles and uh, links in their lower thirds. We thought, why not steal that idea? And we put our Twitter handles in there, so hopefully that will increase our show's social following. So, how did we design them? Well, we used a software called After Effects, which I haven't used in a long time, so it was quite fun going back to that. Um, but the good thing about After Effects is it works with layers and compositions. So, like with that transition of the lines going across, it's just one layer duplicated and moved around a bit, and then you pre-compose that. This probably isn't making any sense, but it does to me. You pre-compose that, and then you can put that transition on top of another layer we can just reuse it for the intro and the outro. Um, and again with the lower thirds, you just compose it all into one, then you can duplicate it and change the name. So After Effects is great for that sort of stuff, and you've got the keyframing so you can do fading and all sorts of transitions. So, now it's time for the outro animation, and I hope you enjoy it, and let us know what you think of our new graphics on social media or in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and here we go.